All right, so this is three five part two continuation of graphing linear equations. Nate, I know you notice you're looking around for a straight edge, right? Nate, you got a phone? Yeah. Use the side of the phone. All right, it works pretty well. All right, uh, if you don't have a phone, you can always use because like on a test, some teachers might be like, "Oh, no phones out." You can use the side of a calculator. That's what I always did. So never like freak out about like not having a ruler. All right, um, got to think smarter, not harder at times. So up here it says, graph the linear equations on the coordinate plane below. Make sure to extend the line across the entire plane. Harshan, the reason why we want to extend that line across the entire plane is later on in word problems, I might ask you to extrapolate or interpolate some data or some type of information from it. We might be like, hey, how many units of uh, coffee did I sell in the year 1980, okay? And what you might have to do, Harshan, is you would look along your x-axis for like the year 1980, and then you'd go up to your graph. Does that make sense to you? Or it might be like, hey, Harshan, can you predict how much the uh, price of gas would be in the year uh, 2010, okay? And I know this seems weird, but I'm giving you that expression because when I first applied, for my job here at Pencrest, I use uh, gas prices from the 80s to predict the gas price in like, like 20, uh, 2007, so 2007, 2008, and I was within like one cent, okay, which is kind of crazy because I was using gas prices from the 1980s. All right, so like these things, it's important to extend that line across the entire graph. So up here, when we're doing this, what we want to do is we want to find the slope and y intercepts. Okay, remember from yesterday, the slope is this number in front of the x. What number is in front of that? Andrew? You gave me like a hand gesture. You said one. So there is a one in front of it. And we like to write these as a fraction, so we're going to write one over one. This means up one to the right one. And the second piece of this is this. Harsham, what number is there? If there is no number, we say zero. So it's going to be a plus zero. So that's my starting point. Now, Harshan, I'm not going to be doing this all day. And I'm not saying that to like call you out or whatnot, but I'm just saying, you know, we don't need to write this for every problem. What we need to do is we just need to buy, be able to identify this and then use that. And I'm going to show you where we go from here, right? So this is just a review. You cool with that? All right, so we're gonna start here at zero. And then I go up one, then to the right one. Up one to the right one. Up one to the right one. And this is why I do my slope across the entire graph, because it makes it easy for me to connect the dots. Make sense now, everybody? So that's what the line looks like. Jack, getting it? All right, so Harshan, this is what I meant about just identifying the information. Remember like that homework that you were like supposed to work on yesterday, that like S6, it was just identify the slope of my intercept. Here's what I do. The slope here is negative one. So I write it as negative one over one, right? Make sense? My B, my starting point is zero. So what, I, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna to go to zero, and this says down one to the right one. That a lot quicker. Let's see, Drew, is that okay with you doing these problems this way? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to do these two problems, and then I believe there's some independent practice there. So. Question number one, 
right? My slope is 1 over 1. My starting point is 1. So I'm going to start at 1, and then you go up 1 to the right 1. Now, if you have a ruler, which I don't, rulers don't work on this smart board, you can just plot like three or four points and then connect the dots. And then you're good to go. All right. All right, for number two, for number two, my slope is negative two over one, meaning I'm going to go down two to the right one, and my starting point is four. So I'm going to go up to four on my y axis, put a point, and then I'm going to go down two to the right one, 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 down two to the right one. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and connect these dots. And there we go. Sophie, how do we feel about this? Good. Good? All right. Now, here's what I want you guys to work on. So I want you guys to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So I want you guys to work on those. And I'm going to give you time to do it. Okay. You getting this done? Ah, we need some points in here. Wait, Mr. Harmon, what are we doing? Not the year. Not a big reader, and I read that one. One isn't short, and two, like, it was actually like, interesting. The other book I, I read, I didn't read much of it, was Lord of the Flies. But that's a different book. That one's pretty cool. So, right there, Mrs. Fox. The only I can see better. Yeah, good. My old age. Yep, no, you had your birthday. Uh. <laughs> so I was lucky to never need glasses and never need braces. It's like winning the. Uh, I know. <laughs> It's like winning the lottery, though. 
How's uh, the apartment sound? Pretty good? Yeah. I like uh, I like going down and seeing the other ones a lot. I think people also forget. Jordan, how much more time do you need? I'm almost done the last one. You're about to start the last one? Okay. I think that I've always, yeah, kind of believed in it, but like really like it when you guys did the little like big sales mm -hmm. and uh, running the school store and stuff like that. But, yeah. But the nice part about, I guess, here is there's more you can actually do on the hill because of the campus here and like the fact that you have facilities out there. Like you could, you know, do like a partnership with the whole shop. So, yeah, you but know, they're not But, you know what I mean? There's a lot of in house opportunities. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start going over these questions. All right, so question number three My slope is four fifths, meaning I'm going to go up four and to the right five. And I'm going to start at the point negative two. So I'm going to start at negative two on my y-axis, and then I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, and to the right, one, two, three, four, five. Up four, one, two, three, four, to the right, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? And then you're just going to connect your dots. And there you go. Any questions on number three? Anybody at home have questions? All right, question number four. My slope is negative four over three, meaning I'm going to go down four and to the right three, and my y-intercept is negative four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, down to negative four, and I'm going to go from there, I'm going to go down four, one, two, three, four, and to the right three, one, two, three. Now, if I go down four again, I go one, two, I'm off the graph, so I stop. Okay, so I have two points here. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I can connect these two with a straight line, but I also want to use this as an opportunity to talk about, well, what do I do if my point goes off the graph? Okay, so if your point goes off the graph, what you can do here is think about this one. You know your line's going in this direction, right? Right, that point and that point, they connect, my line's going this way. So to get to this point, you had to go down four and to the right three from something. So what I like to think about is, okay, let's just work backwards. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Right, so instead of going down four, I'm gonna go backwards, which is up four and to the right three. Notice, 
that point is now in line with my other ones. All right, let's look at questions five and six. Question number five says we're going to go down three and to the right four, and my y-intercept is one. So I'm going to start at one, I'm going to go down three, one, two, three, to the right four, one, two, three, four. Down three, one, two, three, to the right four, one, two, three, four. And you're going to go ahead and connect those dots. For number six, my slope is two thirds. And my y-intercept is negative two, so I'm going to start at negative two. I'm going to go down two, or sorry, up two, one, two, and to the right three, one, two, three. Up two, to the right three. Up two, to the right three. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect those dots. It's very important to take your time and to be as accurate as possible. Question number seven, we're going to start at negative three, and my slope is one half. So I go to negative three for the point. I'm going to go up one over two, up one to the right 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 two. I got my set of points here. Connect them, and there we go. For number eight, my slope is one third. And my starting point is negative two. So I'm going to go to negative two for the point. I'm going to go up one to the right three, up one to the right three, up one to the right three. There we go. Connect my dots. And we have a graph. How are you guys doing so far? Pretty good? All right, question number nine, my slope is going to be three over one, and my y-intercept is going to be zero. So let's go up three to the right one, up three to the right one, up three to the right one. So we have this fairly steep line right here. So let me see if I can uh, make this happen. It's a pretty good line. Nate's like, I don't know how he did it. Gives me the dog. Sometimes I do things that just amaze me. And then I just want to sit here and talk and admire my own line. Okay? Because I only have one shoe on it. All right. Last one. The bonus. I hate it when they, they say bonus. Because kids automatically think, like, oh, it's hard. I'm not going to do it. It's actually very easy. Um, Harshan, I believe it was you. The slope is the number in front of one. Um, zero, one. The, X. the X. The slope is the number in front of the X. Do I have an X here, Harshon? No, right? So if there are no Xs, what number represents like no? Um, zero. zero. So my slope is zero, but I have to write it as a fraction, right? So it's zero over one. That number is my y-intercept. Because remember, your y-intercept is the number without the x, right? So we're going to start at 3, and then I go up 0 and to the right 1. Up 0 to the right 1. So essentially, this is just a horizontal line. Jack, did you get all these? You sure? Positive. Okay. All right, any questions?